Assalamualaikum and hello students. So I'm here, Cikgu Azrini, your science teacher. So today we will learn manipulative skills. So for today's lesson, we will learn how to number one, use and handle science apparatus and substances correctly. Number two, handle specimens correctly and carefully. Number three, sketch specimens, apparatus and science substances correctly. Number four, clean science apparatus correctly. And number five, store science apparatus and substances correctly and safely. So, all of these are the manipulative skills that we are going to learn today. Before that, let's see what does manipulative skills mean. So, you can refer your textbook, page 12. Manipulative skills refer to the ability to use and handle science apparatus and substances correctly when carrying out scientific investigation. For example, when you do the investigations or experiment, okay, you will be using all these manipulative skills. Let us look at the manipulative skills practice in the science room. Number one, use and handle science apparatus and substances correctly. Okay, for example, when you enter science room and you want to do experiment, you need to listen to the teacher's explanation first before you start doing. Okay? The teacher will explain how to do the experiment and how to handle the science apparatus and substances. Number two, handle specimens correctly and carefully. Handling live specimen, garden snail. Okay, some of you may ask, what is specimen? Okay, specimen means a living thing. Okay, for example, in this case, we are talking about garden snail. So, garden snail is specimen. In other experiment, we may be using a spider or a grasshopper. So, that's all we call specimen. Okay. For example, if I ask you to sketch garden snail. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is, okay, you must find or you must take the garden snail using suitable apparatus. For example, in this picture, wear a glove. Okay. Do not use bare hand. You must wear a glove. Or if you want to catch a grasshopper, you will need to use a net. Okay. The next step, you put the specimen in the tray and use a magnifying glass okay, to observe the features of the garden snail and then you need to sketch and label. Okay, after you have complete your work or your investigation, you need to put it back okay, where you take it. You cannot throw the specimen 
into the dustbin. Okay, you must not throw. You must put it back where you take it. Number three, sketch specimens, apparatus, and signs substances correctly. Okay, example, sketching hibiscus, beaker, and water. Okay. The first step, okay, put the hibiscus in the tray and then you observe before you sketch. Okay, and then you start sketching. Your sketching or your drawing must be clear and accurate. Okay, lakaran mesti jelas dan tepat. Dan akhir sekali, berlabel. Okay. Label maksudnya ah, ni. Contoh beaker, water, okay, petals. So your sketching must be clear, accurate and label. So you will get full marks if you do like this. Number four. Clean science apparatus correctly. Okay, washing a test tube. For cleaning, you need to use clean water in the science room. Usually, in the science room, they have uh, provide everything. So, you need to clean the science apparatus. Okay, for example, here you can see, okay, cleaning a Test tube using water and also brush. Once you clean them, it will be wet, right? Okay, lepas dah cuci, mestilah akan jadi basah. Okay, you need to dry it. You must place it in designated areas. Okay, for test tube, they have test tube holders or racks. Okay, the last one, number five, store science apparatus and substances correctly and safely. Okay, usually, there will be a big racks in the science room, racks with label. So, you will store all those apparatus in that place according to label. Where you take it, you need to put it back there. Okay, di mana kamu ambil, kamu perlu simpan semula di tempat yang asal mengikut label pada rak. Okay, so that's all for manipulative skills. Easy, right? Okay, usually when we do experiment or investigation, we need to use all these manipulative skills. Okay. okay, let's recap. So, for Unit 1, we have learned science process skills and today we have learned manipulative skills. Okay, for science process skills, we have learned Four skills. Okay, the first one is observing, classifying, measuring and using numbers, and also communicating. So, I hope all of you still remember. Okay, manipulative skills. Okay, that we learned just now. Okay, kesemuanya ada di sini. Five manipulative skills. Okay, number one. Use and handle science apparatus and substances correctly. Number two, handle specimens correctly and carefully. Number three, sketch specimens, apparatus, science, substances correctly. Number four, clean science apparatus correctly. And number five, store science apparatus 
and substances correctly and safely. Okay, ni dah ikut urutan dah. Okay. Yang pertama, kita guna. Okay, yang kedua, cara untuk kita kendalikan spesimen. Yang ketiga, biasanya kita akan lukis. Okay, number four, kita akan bersihkan selepas kita dah siap buat uh, lakaran, lepas kita dah siap buat aktiviti. Okay, kita perlu cuci peralatan. Dan yang terakhir, okay, the last one, kita akan simpan semula. Okay, store science apparatus and substances. Okay, simpan semula peralatan dan bahan sains. Okay, dengan cara yang betul dan selamat. Okay, now take out your science activity book. We are going to do page 9 and 10. Okay, now page 9. Sequencing and investigation. Okay, date. You need to write the date at each uh, page. Okay, 16 February 2021. Okay, let us read the instruction. Number the correct sequence for the steps. In a scientific investigation. Okay, you need to uh, arrange okay, this according to the number. Which one is the first step? Okay, let us read. Okay, first. Okay, observe the physical features of a hibiscus. Okay, perhatikan ciri-ciri bunga raya. Okay, clean the science apparatus after the activity. Okay, bersihkan. Okay, kata kunci dia bersihkan. Yang tadi kata kunci dia adalah perhatikan. Okay, yang ketiga, place the hibiscus on the tray. Okay, letakkan. And then sketch the hibiscus correctly and carefully. Okay, uh, buat lakaran. Okay, so which one is the first step? Okay, you need to number. Okay, I think the first step... Hmm... Ah, place the hibiscus on the tray. Okay. And then, observe the physical features of a hibiscus. Okay, letakkan di dalam tray dulu. Kemudian, perhatikan ciri. Okay, lepas tu baru lukis. Dan akhir sekali, bersihkan. Okay, rewrite the investigation steps in the correct order. So, number one, you need to write it back here. Number two, three and four. So, let us see an example. Uh, okay, you need to number it first and then you need to rewrite the investigation steps in the correct order. Okay, now page 10. Manipulative skills, okay, you need to re, uh, write the date. Okay, the instruction, match the manipulative skills practiced by the pupils in the pictures below. Okay, there are three sentences and also three pictures, okay. So, you need to write the correct sentences according to the picture. Okay, the first one, store science apparatus and Substances correctly and safely. Okay, simpan. Okay, store. Uh, so, which one? Okay, you choose. Okay, number two. Clean science apparatus correctly. Okay, cuci ataupun bersihkan. And then number three. Handle specimens correctly and carefully. Okay, so you, so you need to write the answers here. Okay, tulis dengan kemas. Okay. Okay, I hope all of you can do this. Okay, page 9 and 10. And don't forget to submit in the Google Classroom. That's all for today. We will meet again in our next lesson. You need to Science Room Rules. Thank you and stay safe.